Hi my lovelies and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Sabina if you're new here. I make weekly vlogs that I, I upload on a Sunday evening and I try and include a little bit of beauty, fashion, mum life, all kind of thrown in there with a weekly update. And if you're new here, make sure you hit the subscribe button. And if you have subscribed already, make sure you hit the notification bell so that you know when I do upload. And um, if you enjoy this, then make sure you give it a thumbs up. And as always, any feedback, any comments, anything, just leave it in the comments below. I do try and get back to everyone when I can. Um, so this week's vlog is kind of gonna be a based around nighttime. It's gonna be nighttime theme. The first half of the video is in partnership with number seven. I have been testing out their advanced retinal 1.5% complex over the last four weeks. So I'll be giving you guys a thorough review of that, showing you my skin after, during and no, before, during and after um, using this pr product and kind of explaining my experience. I'll also do like a little nighttime routine using number seven products. I know some of my followers, especially if you're mums, you say, how do you make time for it? So I'll kind of show you how quick and easy that really is. And then the second half of the video is going to be the boys bedtime routine. So I thought I would include that in this video. And um, they are old enough to have their bath together. And uh, normally we try to get them down kind of by eight o'clock so that we have a little bit of time to ourselves in the evening. Evening. so I will be sharing that with you as well like I said if you like this video if you enjoy this video make sure to hit the thumbs up button and yeah let's get on with it so this is the number seven advanced retinal 1.5% complex as you guys can see I've hardly used anything I've been using this for four weeks you with retinols you have to build up the tolerance so on week one I used it every three days and I think I only used it twice and then week two and week three I built it up to every other day um, and for week four I used it every day um you literally only need one pump and it does come in kind of like this pump bottle which makes it really really easy to apply I'm going to show you what it I will show you applying it later when I do my routine but I just thought I'd show you on my hand now it's a really light really really light texture um, and it absorbs into the skin so easily so what is a retinol I feel like there's so much inaccurate information out there and so much misunderstanding around it i think one of the reasons number seven wanted to do this campaign um was to educate people the launch of this product has been so successful um there was a wait list of over a hundred thousand people it's been the best selling product on boots.com and i think they really wanted to do an education piece around it so that people are using it in the right way and know what to do so just a little bit of history, just to give you a little bit of background knowledge. So retonic acid was traditionally used for acne sufferers and researchers realised that it improved skin over time. Um, the medical grade version was too harsh to be used for the masses. Um, so cosmetic companies started doing research to develop products that could be used for normal people. And I think one of the reasons that this number seven product has been so hugely successful is that it is suitable for sensitive skin. So retinol is traditionally quite a harsh product um you will get dry and you'll need to use loads of moisturizer and you'll need to use sunscreen even with this i would really really stress that if you're using this at night make sure you use sunscreen in the morning retinol should only be used at night as well i should add that don't ever ever make the mistake of using it in the morning it is a nighttime product um, but the reason that i think this has been successful is because like i said it's suitable for sensitive skin um and i I don't know the science, I'm not that great at science, but I'm going to try and explain it to you in as clear terms as I can. So this is a 1.5% complex. The retinal level in this product is actually 0.3%. So the remaining 1.22% of that 1.5% complex is other ingredients that balance the retinol out. Researchers at Manchester University realised that at 0.3%, this was the percentage where the, the retinol was still effective without being... Um, without irritating the skin I think that was the main thing for them they wanted something um that would work but wouldn't irritate people's skin and this 1.5% complex is how they've done it because the other ingredients balance out the retinol um and kind of prep the skin so that the skin doesn't get irritated by the product just a couple of points to add so like I said it can dry you out I didn't find that this dried me out so I didn't have to moisturize more than I do normally but if you do have very dry skin you might need more moisturizer than you do normally um and you obviously have to use an SPF because your skin is more sensitive when you are using this and so make sure you're wearing your sunscreen in the morning retinol is not safe to use if you are breastfeeding or if you are pregnant so just bear that in mind and like I said at night time only not during the day if you are using retinol, don't use any other acids or pills. Sometimes mixing ingredients can give off adverse reactions on the skin. Um, so just keep the rest of your 
skincare routine. Very simple, very basic. Like I said, I will show you a really easy number seven skincare routine in this video as well. So I also want to talk to you guys about my personal experience. I was supposed to film this over a four week period, um, but some of the content got lost and let's not go into all of that. But I thought it would be just easier for me to sit down now and kind of explain my journey with this. So I will include a little clip here. Um, this was taken on week one before I started using the product. Um, I am talking it, but obviously I'll mute it so that you guys can see exactly what my skin looked like. Um, at that point for using the retinol, my main concerns were discolor discoloration or pigmentation around the skin um, and unevenness. And I just wanted it to be brighter and glowier. So the first thing that I noticed literally from the very first time I used this was, um, and I was so shocked because I literally used it once and then the next morning, this area and this area of my face just felt so much smoother. These are the areas that tend to just feel rough and textured normally and I couldn't believe how smooth they felt from one use. You guys know I try out a lot of skincare products, a lot of luxury skincare products, nothing else has ever given that smoothness to my skin so instantly. So literally from the very first time I used it, I was in love with it and I was like, okay, I can't wait to see what the results are gonna be like when we get to week four. Um, there is actually a checklist of visible skin benefits that number seven say you should be able to see when you use this. You might be able to see some of them, you might be able to see all of them, but I'll just read them out to you. Reduces appearance of wrinkles and or fine lines, reduces appearance of pores, reduces appearance of pigmentation, improves skin tone, color, firmer feeling and looking skin, brighter, radiant, improves skin texture, improves skin tone, improves skin clarity, smoother looking skin. By the time we got to week three, I think towards the end of week two, beginning of week three, my skin started to peel. That has never happened to me. It's a normal reaction from retinol. Um, but for me, I was like, oh my God, what's wrong with my skin? Especially on the chin area, it was quite bad. Um, and then like these areas of my face, it was just peeling. Um, it didn't hurt or anything and I wasn't sure if this was a normal process and it is. You might not peel, you might break out. Um, the thing is we've all got stuff going on underneath our the, the top layer of our skin that we can't see and what the retinol does is it pushes out those impurities and that badness and then reveals the fresher, younger, smoother, glowier skin underneath so you've got to get rid of all of the rubbish on top before the glowiness comes out. And um, it was really hard for me, I'm gonna be honest, it was really hard for me when my skin was peeling to kind of be like, okay, I'm gonna stick with this and I'm gonna see it through. But I'm so glad that I did. I stuck with it and by week four, obviously I was using it every single day. And I'm so glad I did because when that skin peeled away, the glowiness underneath was, I've never seen my skin be that glow without any product on it. I've literally washed my face with a cleanser. And if I stood in front of the mirror, I could see like, my cheekbones pop, like the highlight just popping. It looked like I had a highlighter on, but I didn't. I literally just washed my face. I didn't even have a moisturizer on, um, which is like why I'm so crazy about this product. Number seven is, is a brand that I've known my whole life. Like since I was a kid, I'd walk into Boots and I'd see it. Um, but I didn't realize that they had such amazing skincare products. I will include the aftershots here so you guys can see exactly what my skin looks like after the four week treatment. I've actually worn minimal makeup in this video for a reason because I feel so comfortable and confident in my skin at the moment that I'm like, I don't wanna layer loads of product on because my skin's glowing, like I should be embracing that. So I wasn't planning on taking my makeup off at this stage of the video. I was just gonna do before and after shots um, once I finished speaking. But actually I thought, if I'm gonna sit here and talk to you guys about a skincare product, I want you guys to be able to see my skin and actually see the results for yourself. It's easy for me to sit here and say, okay, this is what I've experienced, but I want you guys to be able to see it in my skin. Obviously, I think the first thing that you notice instantly is that the skin is a lot more firmer and a lot glowier. If I go like this, you can literally see like the light hitting my face. And that's like the natural highlight from where the skin is peeled and the fresh, younger, glowier skin from underneath has been revealed. So like I said, I noticed a difference from the very first time I used it, my skin felt smoother in this area and in this area. And I think that this product, it's because this product really tackles um, pores and really helps to reduce the appearance of them. So if that's something that you suffer from, I think this will really, really help. And like I said, I noticed it from the very first time I used it. So the results were very, very quick in that respect. Um, but overall, my skin does, it feels softer. Even though it's firmer, it does feel softer and smoother. Uh, kind of like a little bit of an airbrush look, if that makes sense. Um, and I think that's to do with the fact that the skin is more even toned, so it looks like I've just gone, got it to face chin and gone like that. But as you guys can see, I'm on video. There's no editing. This is a natural lighting. This is exactly what my skin looks like 
I also feel like it's helped with the pigmentation a little bit. It's not something that other people might notice instantly, but I know, for example, here, um, I had like a few marks for the longest time where I had some spots um, and nothing I've ever really used has gotten rid of those. They're very, very small. They can, can be covered up with makeup and I don't think it would bother most people, but it does bother me because I know that they weren't there and it's the spots that cause them. Um, but instantly from using this over four weeks, I've I feel like it's really, really reduced how dark they were. And I think if I carried on using it, they would definitely probably just disappear altogether. So I know I've been testing this product out for four weeks, but actually in week one, I only used it twice because obviously you have to gradually build up your skin's tolerance to the product. Um, so in reality, the amount of product I've used is very, very small. So for these results to come from such a small amount of product, I think that's what I'm really impressed with. Um, it's just such an affordable product. And I think Boots have three for two on selected number seven stuff at the moment anyway. Um, so it's a really great time to invest in your skincare. But for someone like me who tests so many products out, I'm just so impressed. It's something that is so affordable, works so quickly and you really need the minimum amount for it to work. So I've just double cleansed my face with the number seven cleanser. Ignore this bruise. Yeah, yeah, hit me on my face with a remote control this week. And I bruised like a peach, so it's gone slightly dark. But that this is like what my skin looks like. Literally, just when I've washed my face, I've got no product, nothing on there. Gonna start off with the retinol on a clean base. Literally just one pump. And as you guys can see, that was literally enough for my whole face, which is why this will last you so long. I normally like products to absorb in a little bit before I put the next product on, but because that's so light, it literally absorbs into my skin straight away. Um, so the next product that I'm going to be using after that is, I will put this in the description boxes, blocks, blocks. I would put this in the description box below so you guys know exactly what products to use and in what order because it is really a really simple, quick, easy routine. So next up, I'm using the serum. And once that absorbs in, I'm going to go in with the eye cream. This is the number seven Protect and Perfect Eye Cream. I always use my ring finger for this because I feel like my ring finger is like the lightest. And honestly, for eye creams, I always, always stress that you need the smallest amount. I feel like sometimes with skincare, people get carried away and they just apply way too much and go over the top. Um, and you just need small quantities to take care of your skin and it makes the product last a lot longer as well. Um, and then finally, um, if my skin needs a little bit of TLC, yeah, tend to love and care, TLC or needs a bit more moisture, I will put on a slightly thicker layer of this um, and use it like as an overnight mask, but it is the number seven Protect and Perfect Intense Advanced Night Cream. Um, and I feel like it's quite a heavy cream, but it leaves my skin just so moisturised. Especially with this like heat that we've been having. It's miserable today, but we were having a bit of a heat, heat wave last week, weren't we? And that is it.
Let's go. but all the toys are tidied up and it's better than it was before and at least i can relax this evening without stressing out about the mess <laughs> their little pajamas i haven't ironed them i'm not gonna bother ironing them because they're gonna wear them to bed but how cute are they five little ducks wait for me one day over the hills are far away mama duck say but only three little dogs came back. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, John. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Tickle Monster. Oh, the Tickle Monster is going to get you. The Tickle Monster is going to get you. John. John, 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 John. Oh, Bismillah, Bismillah. Come on, yeah, yeah. There we go. Nice. You want to say hi? Is that you? Is that yeah, yeah? <laughs> Is that yeah, yeah? Oh, very nearly hit your head on the wall, mate. Be careful. Which one? Um, that one. Which one? You want the spider one? You want this spider one? Um, never. No more to the bullet. What did you do? A circle. Yours? And this is not yours. <laughs> oh, are you getting into bed? Are you getting into bed? Okay, show mommy with this one. Oh, say, oh, Never touch a beetle. Oh, you want to read it yourself? Okay. You, you must always treat a bug with care each time you take a look. And save your hugs for all the bugs inside this book. The ladybird one. Okay. Yeah. Go and put it down and be seated. Put what colour is she? She red? Red. Red. Where's Mrs. Dear? Hi, buddy. Ow. Sleep. Sleep time. You have your do-do and go sleep time? Good boy. Night-night. Are you not going to say night-night? Can you read your gulma? Say la-i-la. -la. 